I bought a fanny pack. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. This video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be talking about something fairly tactical. It's technically in the name of the product, Tactical Baby Gear. Um, I've talked about some of their products before. I did a review and I actually got a bunch of really good feedback on that video. And even the company themselves put me on their YouTube page, uh, giving me a shout out saying thank you for how good of a review that I did um, on their bag. So if you guys want to see that video, um, I'll link that down below. It's a, a review, my initial thoughts on their Deuce 2.0. It's a diaper bag for men. It's just a little more stylish, looks a little more tactical. Um, it's covered in molly gear or in a molly paneling. It's got Velcro pockets, uh, YKK zippers. Just really awesome bag. I um, mean, I've actually gotten uh, gotten really good use out of it. But this product is a, a smaller version of that essentially. Now, there's so many benefits in my personal opinion to this bag. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I'm not a bag wearer per se. I'm not one of these guys that has a bag on me all the time. Um, like, I guess like a satchel. It's where I keep all my things. Get a lot of compliments on this. Plus it's not a man purse, it's called a satchel. But either way, um, I thought it would be cool to have a bag. And the reasoning for this bag, when I listened to Beav, which is who is the CEO for uh, Tactical Baby Gear, one of the things he was talking about is if you don't want to carry your entire diaper bag, you just want something smaller, just with your essentials in there. This is a really good option for that. And I kind of got to thinking, right now is a little bit different as far as the times that we're in. But when it comes time to start taking my daughter to the park or when I drop her off, you know, in the daytime for uh, child care, I don't want to have to have my entire bag with me because she doesn't need the entire bag whenever she goes to get dropped off. But this is a really cool thing to have kind of in transport without having to carry my entire diaper bag. But anyways, this is the uh, Tactical Baby Gear. It's the Tactical Hip Pack. Um, I'm an 80s baby, so I called it a fanny pack, but they call it a hip pack. I like the way their stuff comes. I've already opened this. I've already looked at the product. But they come in these little bags right here, and it tells you, you know, the company name, what it is, and then it tells you the color, the woodland camo. That's the one that I went with. When you open this from them, it's this bag and then the product is in a plastic bag but like I said I've already opened it and this is what it looks like so it's got that traditional woodland camo it comes with this thing attached to it and this little deal has all your basic information um, it tells you how many pockets there are how many zippers there are what kind of zippers they are like I said they have the YKK zippers the material it's made out of it shows you different molly paneling on the sides where you can use some of their other products as attachments, um, like I said, you have these molly paneling here. So if you want to do bottle holders, wipey holders, anything molly um, capable will fit on there, obviously. But they just give you examples of what you can do with it. I'm not going to go through all the basics and sit here and read every little specific on it. If you guys want more information, go check out Tactical Baby Gear. This is not a sponsored video. I have reached out to them to try to see about working with them. I just haven't heard nothing back with the times right now. There's just a lot going on. So maybe in the future, that's something that we can do. Maybe partner up with them, do some more reviews, um, get some more products in front of you guys so that, you know, all the dads out there who want to look tactical or want a little bit more tactical gear, I can bring that stuff to y'all. Now, a big part of why I like this gear over a regular diaper bag and then in this situation, a regular, I guess, like a fanny pack or a regular, like just little crossbody bag is how modular they made this system. And what I mean by that is this is sold as a product through tactical baby gear. So, yes, I'm going to be using it for diapers and wipes and those kinds of things. But when it comes down to it, I can use this if I wanted to as an everyday carry, put a pistol in here, put, you know, first aid stuff in here, put different essentials. The way they made this bag is it has these little pockets here where you can tuck in the straps. And I'm not going to sit here and do it, but you can tuck the straps all the way in. And then it makes it to where the bag looks just like this. Now, once you have it just like this, 
You can use this to attach to something else. You can carry this around. Um, you can use this as a toiletry bag when you're traveling. You can use this as a small range bag. I mean, this is kind of possibilities are endless. It doesn't just keyhole itself into being one thing. And when you're done with that one thing, you're just stuck with the bag that's just going to sit around that you're not going to do nothing with. So that's what I like about their products is when I'm done using it as this, I can roll over into using it for something else. So I wanted to get into this bag real quick. I haven't used the bag. Like I said, there's nothing in it yet. I wasn't going to sit here and show you guys exactly how I'm going to set it up because I know everybody's going to set this thing up different. But I wanted to at least show this to y'all. This thing has been out for about a week now and I bought it the day that it came out. It came very quick. They have a great customer service. Even through everything that we're going through right now, they got it shipped out very quick. It came from North Carolina and was here in a couple of days. After inspecting everything, I mean, it's a perfect product. There's no issues, no flaws. It's got the uh, hook and loop or Velcro, the soft part here in the front so you can put morale patches or other little attachments that you want on there. This first pocket, you open that up, it's just a basic pocket. Put smaller items, um, whether it's your keys, your wallet, different things like that that you don't want to carry in your pocket. Um, in my case, I'm going to have, you know, probably little things, a hand sanitizer in there, um, little face wipes for my daughter, stuff like that. In the next pocket, you open this big part up and it's got, I know that's hard to see because it's black, but it's got this little middle divider and it has two sections, one on each side to put things. And then that middle divider actually has a zipper on it itself. So that's another little pocket. If you wanted to put, you know, whether it's extra pacifiers in my situation or just smaller little things that my daughter may need, band-aids, different things like that. The big pocket, fairly similar. It's open on two different sides. So this is the pocket that I'm gonna be doing. Wipies in the back, pampers up in the front. Um, that's Like I said, that's the big pocket that I'm gonna need the most and that's what I'm really gonna be using this for is just the essentials that I may need out of a diaper bag. And then the fourth pocket on the back is a little bit smaller, open that up. And it's got a little bit of padding. Now, a small pistol will fit back here. I'm not going to be carrying a pistol in here um, unless I'm running around in the park or doing things with my daughter and I don't want my gun on me. Everything that I carry is usually small enough to where it doesn't get in the way of my day-to-day -day activities. But if it really comes down to it, I have the option of throwing it in here and having this on my body without it being unnecessarily big and getting in the way of anything else. Like I mentioned before, it does have these little molly panelings here on the side to attach more um, accessories. It's got a regular plastic buckle. It's got the straps going around and the straps extend pretty big if you're a, a little bit bigger person. And then it has a little elastic piece. I don't know what that's called. The little elastic piece there to hold the extra. Now, like I said before, I'm an 80s baby, but I'm not going to be wearing this as a fanny pack. I just can't see myself... I'm just not that person, you know, nothing against whoever wears a fanny pack, more power to you. I'm just not a fanny pack person. So my plan is to wear this crossbody. I can have it just like this out of the way. I can still carry my daughter without any issues, have everything I need. Um, I like the idea of this because if I'm in a park, if I'm doing something where I can't get to a changing table, I can take my daughter back to my truck and have everything that I need right here, lay her down to start changing her. And I can work out of this bag right here. Same thing down the line when I don't want to use this as a diaper bag. I can carry this as a range med kit and carry it just like this. Or I can slide it behind my back to where it's out of the way. And then when I need it, pull it up to the front and I can work out of this bag. So I really like that idea more than I do wearing it as an actual fanny pack or a hip pack in this situation. But I just liked how modular this thing was. Like I said, uh... As soon as I saw the video of Beave talking about it, it was just kind of one of those, I have to have this. I have the big bag, and that bag has been phenomenal. It has everything I need in it from, you know, extra, you know, extra bottles, pacifiers, wipes, change of clothes, blankets, towels. I have way more in that bag than what I need, but I'm of the mindset I'd rather have more and not need it than not have it. And then I need it, and then I'm just kind of screwed, and I've keyholed myself in a situation where now I'm stuck. But again, this is just kind of traveling in between, not needing the entire diaper bag. This is going to the park. This is 
maybe going into the mall where my big bag stays in my truck. I can throw an extra little onesie or, you know, a little change of clothes in here with diapers, wipies. In a blowout situation, I still have everything that I need here, but I don't have to have the entire bag like I'm out and about for the, the full day away from the house, away from everything that I normally use or have. So I really like the idea of this. Um, there are different colors. If I remember correctly, I know it comes in black. I think it comes in the uh, in Coyote and maybe OD Green. Don't quote me on that. But, of course, it comes in the Woodland. And, oh, I think the other one is uh, the black Multicam. This is just something that I like. It kind of stuck out to me. I thought it looked really cool, so I went ahead and bought this one. And this is what I'm going to be using. Um, I'm just really excited about this bag. Never did I think that I was going to get excited about baby stuff. But the thing that I really like about this company, and again, this is not a sponsored video, is they make products for somebody like myself. I have a certain look of things that, you know, that I like, and their product kind of fits into that category of things that I like, things that I wouldn't mind carrying. So it's easier for me to want to buy these products and then actually utilize them on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me know what you guys think of this hip pack. Is this something that you guys would carry? And if you would buy or carry this, would you wear it as, as an actual hip pack? Like I said, I'm not going to nothing against anybody who will, just not my style. It's going to be a crossbody bag, but I just wanted to show that to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell for the notifications. And thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.